as I said guys, most of my feed is just like weight loss and <laughs> bags, which is a very toxic kind of like combination of things, which is why I'm like, should I just like delete my Facebook? But hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Sorry if it's a bit dark in here today. It's because I closed the window because I realized my neighbor's dog barks when he sees me through the window and that's why he keeps barking. But I wanted to share with you guys my Facebook feed. I know it's a bit private, but I don't know if you guys can relate or I know that we scroll through these things subconsciously and we just think, you know, at the back of our minds, we think they're silly. But actually, when you really think about it, Facebook is so bad guys. I follow like mainly like handbag luxury uh, Facebook groups and like buy selling pages and so the majority of my newsfeed is literally handbags and then other things that are targeted towards like women my age so I'm 31 this year so yeah I wanted to share with you guys these things and like how <clears throat> it almost makes me kind of want to delete Facebook. So the first article I got shared with me was from daily star which i don't even know guys i don't even think that i'm like subscribed to this but um it was a dua lipa shows off her flat stomach despite revealing love of mcdonald's <laughs> so i just thought like oh my gosh and then i clicked on it which was stupid because i'm ruining my own algorithm and it was just her posing in front of the mirror with her flat stomach and then like wow she eats mcdonald's as well like Guys, do you see how, like, bad this, like, I think if you have, like, if you're a woman, a woman, or even some guys, that a lot of people are, are insecure about their weight and the way they look. I don't like being the sort of person who clicks on these articles because it shows that, like, I want to see what Jewel Loop Leaper looks like and what her stomach looks like, but at the end of the day, like, who the hell cares, guys? Like, your body changes all the time, so I was kind of, like realize like oh my gosh I'm such an idiot for clicking on this like who am I like honestly I feel like Facebook makes me like a bad person sometimes the next like ad that popped up for me was this sauna blanket that's supposed to burn calories <laughs> so you basically lie in it and it makes you sweat and it's just this lady with abs um I think again this was targeted at me because oh, my neighbor's dog is still barking he can see me <sighs> Anyway, I think this was targeted at me because lately I've put on, well, <clears throat> like over the last maybe few years, I've put on about seven to eight kilos, which you might not be able to know because I am relatively slim, but I did have like, I don't know, I was very underweight for um, like a lot of my life, actually, even as a teenager. And that's because I had like body image issues. And I think a lot of these ads on my Facebook um, I think it's sometimes I do click on them because I am curious to know like how to burn calories and stuff and I think that's really bad for me because I, I know being underweight for me was not good for my body and <clears throat> it's not really healthy if you're not naturally like that so I think it's bad that my Facebook is like targeting me with these like um, weight loss things all the time um, and I don't know if a lot of other people also struggle with this, like their body image and like accepting, you know, being a healthy weight and everything. That's something that I personally struggle with. So yeah, I just thought, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe I'm like looking at this all the time. Like, no wonder I feel bad about myself. Okay. I thought this meme was hilarious. It was, uh, me after a long day to pretending to like people. <laughs> Guys, if you work in retail, you you know you know how this feels. I had uh, also, as I said, guys, I have a lot of um, bags on my feed. So there's a lot of people selling their Birkins and stuff. And I love following this because I love seeing the pricing. This one lady was selling her Birkin 25 in Chai for 26,800 US. So yeah, if you can score a Birkin 25 from the boutique, guys, it seems to be a good investment. Oh, and someone shared that um, in US, uh, Chanel shoes are not going to go on sale anymore. So in an effort to preserve and protect fashion creation, image and client experience, Chanel will be focusing on full price selling and not offering markdown selling this season in the US, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure in Australia they still have the markdown for Chanel um, for the VIP clients. It's not open to public. I think in the past it was easier to get um, Chanel access to the Chanel sale. So they never put their bags on sale, but they used to put their shoes and 
some jewelry and ready to wear on sale not fine jewelry but yeah and now I think they're steering in the direction of not doing that anymore which makes sense because the price increases are absolutely insane lately even on like the ready to wear and the shoes so to have things going on sale it does affect the image and it confuses the client as well if they know if especially like someone who buys ready to wear they wouldn't want to buy something full price and then it goes on sale so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if in the future chanel eliminate those vip sales like altogether. someone shared on my feed um the factory conditions the sweatshop conditions for shein and this is like really sad, like how people have to work under these conditions, you know, they're on these uncomfortable chairs, they have all the sheen clothes all around them. And this really does make me not want to buy fast fashion because I know that the people are not tr treated well under these conditions, but at the same time, it's a bit of a tricky subject because um, if we don't support fast fashion, then they won't have a job. And it really comes down to, I think, um i don't know the laws in the country so I, I don't know if there's much we can do in terms of changing the conditions of those factories so things like shein as well like they're very they're not the best quality so i mean for your own wardrobe um you don't want to add too much of that really fa like stuff that's just been whipped out really fast anyway because it's probably not going to last and <laughs> I know that Louis Vuitton wouldn't have these kinds of conditions, but recently some of the stuff that Louis Vuitton have been releasing, like, I feel like the quality is so bad. It is, like, at this, like, level of they just, like, whipping it out really fast. It does make you think, though. Oh, someone was selling a lot of their handbags. So, wow. I think this lady could be, like, a professional uh, seller. And she's selling a whole lot of Chanel, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Got an ad for Eluxit Forward, which is a consignment store in, I think, Queensland. Um, just this lady trying to advertise it. Uh, unwanted luxury bags. Eluxit Forward have really good pricing, guys. Like, I've noticed a lot of Hermes bags on Eluxit Forward that are, like, incredible prices. Oh, someone was sharing these holiday Vivians. Oh, that is so adorable. Yeah, oh my gosh. As I said, guys, most of my feed is just like weight loss and <laughs> bags, which is a very toxic kind of like combination of things, which is why I'm like, should I just like delete my Facebook? But anyway, okay, someone was selling a little um, Kelly pochette or something. It's not a Kelly pochette, it's like a Kelly clutch or something. That's really cute. Um, I follow this lady called Chocolate Covered Katie. She does, like, vegan um, dessert recipes. I've been following her, like, ever since like, high school. And um, at one point in my life, I was vegan. So I used to follow a lot of her recipes. But, yeah, I'm not vegan anymore. Um, oh, someone shared their um, Louis Vuitton collection. It's the, what was this called? The Spring in the City collection. That is so pretty. Honestly, I think this is a lot prettier than the um, Escal collection. It's really cool that they got all that stuff. Oh my gosh, another like... Okay, so this is a cream that basically you're supposed to put it on. And like it's saying here that um, if you put on this cream that it will help your thigh gap basically. And it's like my husband noticed my thigh gap. So it's like a toning... Um, cream that's supposed to help with the, I don't know, increasing your thigh gap and giving you less cellulite. Don't know how it does that, but cellulite, guys, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's like a hereditary thing. I don't know if you can fix it. I, I've been super skinny and I still have cellulite, so, um, oh, here's another one. <laughs> another tightening cream. Um, my bat wings are gone. Okay, well, I don't think a cream could help your bat wings. I think that's something you either have to correct from. I mean, like, bat wings, I mean, it's just skin, so. I mean, having bat wings is not going to affect your life. It was just an aesthetic thing, but maybe if you did weights, you could get rid of it. Um, I know some people get surgery to get rid of that excess flab, because sometimes it's just, um, as you get old, I think if you have fat there, it, it sags. I don't know, guys. Like, honestly, if this is triggering for you, I'm sorry, but this is the stuff that comes up on my my news feed. Um, oh, and also there was this adorable cat, Power of Positivity. Okay, so I don't even follow this account, but 
actually have a Maine Coon. Um, she's like a cross. Um, and it was this cat who's a Maine Coon. And oh my gosh, like, it's just so, like, look at his face. He's so big. These cats are massive. I love it when cats pop up on my news feed, guys. But anyways, I wanted to share my Facebook today because a lot of it is like real garbage. And then some of it really makes me think. And then some of it is just um, enticing me to buy handbags. So I don't know. I think a lot of it is a waste of my time and energy. Some of it makes me feel really bad about myself as well, especially like the weight loss stuff. So yeah, it's just something I'm aware of. And um, I know guys that being on social media and even on YouTube, you might find a lot of stuff makes you feel bad and watching it. Um, I think as long as you're aware of it, um, it won't affect your life as much, but if you're kind of subconsciously looking at it and it's making you feel bad about yourself, um, I think it can be kind of dangerous, especially if you have like a tendency to overspend like me or, you know, um, try and make yourself uh, sick by losing weight and stuff. So yeah, I think there are a lot of things on the internet that it's good to be aware of what is being targeted of you and try and rise above it. Yeah. So anyways, um, hope you enjoyed my chatty video today. Sorry about my neighbor's dog and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.